Hello everybody and welcome back to Mars Horizon. Vikings in Space continues our quest to be the first to the moon and maybe beyond. The next objective involves achieving a crucial milestone, placing your first artificial satellite into orbit. So let's see how what we have to do. Uh, research the artificial satellite mission and its mission payload. Hmm. Mission payload, I think, oh, payload, we got to do that, okay. And, and then we're going to do some buildings, I promise, <laughs> I think. Okay, uh, let's just go to next month, and we should be, well, I think test launch, they're, they're still doing test launches in six months, and I'm done with mine. Start uh, now the artificial satellite and payload. You can start the mission plan. Select Earth to find the mission, but note that you'll need a free mission slot. Oh, I'm going to free mission slot. That's not a problem. Um, artificial satellite 18480. Ooh, I may not have what I need for that. Select a payload. Uh, the satellite first stage, just a simple, yeah, just a simple satellite. A small, that's exactly that, a small, simple satellite designed to take ionospheric and solar emission measurements. Okay, select that. Oh, we're still in. You guys see this? <laughs> this the tutorial is kind of annoying. Payload rating is an overall rating based on the payload's modules. There's not, not much to it. Uh, okay, and payload's mass determines the launch vehicle required, so 25 kilograms. All right, remember that. Each mission payload has available variants, which can be used to further customize the payload. Each variant has strengths and weaknesses compared to the standard version. I don't think I liked any of the variations, because uh, there's a penalty for each one of those. So we're just, yeah, we're just going to go, yeah. Okay, build payload. Okay, engineers deliver a construction report. This will include traits. I think uh, once you have the necessary funds, you can start construction. Got the funds. Okay, how are we doing on research? That's a little bit. Let's do the rocket test pad. That helps reliability, I think. Um, we'll be working on a couple of these later. Um, you know, and, and I want to do the research lab, too. To, I should have done that first, maybe. Oops. Oh, well. I like this next month and next event. You can skip ahead pretty quickly. So you maybe could play the uh, the the normal uh, difficulty and just skip the next event a lot and, and still keep things moving. So, all right, Vikings in space completed. Let's see what we got here. China completed the uh, test launch. Okay. Uh, research we need. Let's do this. And now we need to build um, the rocket test pad. And I think that's best here. Plus one launch reliability, minus three vehicle build cost. Oh, really? Well, maybe I want to do that over here then. Okay, I like that. Let's do it. <laughs> Probably have nothing there, but there's something else I have too that this needs to be kind of touching two things here, and that might position that pretty well. Okay, so we're building that. Research lab research. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, artificial satellite payload complete. Yes. 
plus 25 science reward minus 10 launch reliability next design the vehicle and we want here's where we want to do um, I gotta design a new one I want to use vehicle capable carrying the payload of vehicles with 25 kg remember that okay we've got that upper stage booster uh, payload reliability I don't like the okay we need an upper stage and then a booster okay so upper stage to get started um all the upper stages present that's that's the one we've got okay this I think presently available so I want them to view their stats that's 45 I only need 25 is this okay first stage must be able to carry the payload least equal to the payload. also its max destination must be at least equal to the mission's destination now their vital stat is the upper stage's mass this will determine the size of the booster required to carry it so the bigger the this upper stage is the more uh, power you need in the lower stage so you gotta kind of be careful upper stage the payload capacity close to the payload's mass okay so we're better off here and um, then we'll go to the booster which probably uh, I don't like that they use the same kind of cartoon of the stages that's confusing to me I need a booster to view its stats I, I don't think we need any more than this 69% launch reliability um, must be at least equal to the mass of the upper stage yeah 350 I don't know what the mass of the upper stage is but I think that's enough I think of course launch pad yeah we of course small launch pad I could go to a bigger one but I, I think it might uh, require a larger launch pad yeah 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 okay let me, let me show you. see well it still would be a large uh, i don't think i need that big one though I, I really don't i think we're good here check whether your selected upper stage is valid if it's not try different combinations okay that's all valid um confirming the design and we start building it okay two months all right uh set research oh what am i going to research next spacecraft assembly facility uh, i think i'd like that i'm going to need more vehicles but i'm not sure which so uh, i'm not ready to do vehicles yet so i'm going to start that spacecraft assembly thing i think that's going to be spacecraft assembly facility research complete okay now i'm going to go to uh vehicles because i know i'm going to need these uh, one of these each of these so i want to get ahead on that okay. rocket test pad is complete so let's build um artificial satellite vehicle complete all right i think we can do a launch preparation Training. Got to do training. I think, yeah. Crucial part lines your staff and crew to focus on a particular aspect of the mission in the months before the launch date. That type of training chosen greatly affect. Okay. Set a training focus for your staff. I basically, well, only have one. Okay. <laughs> Available training can be selected here. That's it each training option base launch reliability training bonus per month max training bonus 15 so okay all right so I want to I want to have a, a couple of months I either have to go one or five 
um, because these are not good good times. I think I'm ahead far enough that I can go here and that'll increase my reliability as well. So let's do that. Confirm mission. So. All right. Um, see, nobody else is ready to do that yet. So and just budget. Yes. Ooh. For current tier 92k per month, next tier 122. Accept. Algol research. <laughs> First milestone challenge is now available. These are optional goals for your agency that involve completing certain milestones in return for substantial rewards. Select Earth or any other planetary body to access the mission screen. Current milestone challenge can be found here, along with other required the time remaining for the current challenge. Can be seen on its tooltip activated by moving your cursor over the challenge. Become available whenever you complete or fail the previous challenge. Note there's no penalty for failing a milestone challenge. I guess that's it. Uh, I didn't know that was a milestone challenge, but I guess. Okay. Launch reliability training. Yeah, we're doing that, I think. Okay, overview. Payload is good. Vehicles good. Launch preparations. And we got that in progress. Okay, I think we're good. I need to do research now. I'm going to do this research. What buildings do I have? Research lab experience. Mission control I'm gonna do next. Okay. That is my new plan. And I have a building to to, to build. Um research lab. Which I want to let's see, what do I forgot what I can use to turn this. Okay, minus three payload cost, minus two vehicle cost. And the same thing here. I think I want it here. Okay, and then I can also build a rocket test pad. Oh, it's spacecraft assembly facility. Do I have a rocket test pad? Oh, maybe I do. Spacecraft assembly, see that? Minus two, minus three. Ooh. That's oh, the same, okay. I don't know, I feel like I should go out here with this. So we got several buildings going on, and that's fine. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> Evil research. Okay, so now I want to go back to buildings and build and research mission control. That has got to have some some good thing, right? Research lab complete. Spacecraft assemble. That was those were built fast <laughs> good for me okay and now we should be able to launch this assuming the weather is going to be good <sighs> all right let's see what we got weather, weather looks good I'm not sure why I got the Japanese Space Center, but uh, it's all good. 84%. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Continue. 
told you we'd get a satellite launched in this episode. I think some agencies have had to do multiple test launches. As the first one failed, you have to get you have to get one to succeed. So, and keep in mind, I am playing on the easiest. Secure launch, no mission effect. Okay. All right. Following vehicle parts are gained levels. Good. Yeah, the, these parts gain gain levels each time that you uh, uh, you know that you use them. So achieve Earth orbit, collected some stuff there, and now I can do a series of tasks. Well, I have to do a series of tasks. <laughs> Shown here to successfully complete the task, you'll need to generate the required resources. So, okay. Yeah, payload. Um, we only have a limited amount of commands per turn. Planning phase, you can fully undo. You're happy with your select, set, select, confirm commands. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, we're going to do that. And that's all they'll let me do. I didn't do visual data collection last time first. Signal return test. Okay, accept that. All right. Sweet. Successful. Accept. Okay. Now I know I, I want to yeah re recharge power. Um, yeah, we'll recharge and ground control connection. Okay. Hmm. Terrestrial. Unless you spend one to resist the event. Let's keep that going. Okay. Magnetic field analysis. This might be the one I did that. <laughs> and atmospheric sampling. Uh, maybe I do data transmission too. Okay, that was successful. Barely. <laughs> okay. All right, and we need to do atmospheric sampling. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I thought I did this. Can't tell, oh, I don't have any power. Okay, let's do that and see what happens. This is my last one, I don't know. Um, I don't. I never did figure out what I was supposed to do. <laughs> so, yep, did it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Artificial satellite. All right. Ooh, 225 funds, 300 for two months. Some, oh, some, I can, oh, 450 for two months. I can do some dynamite research now, which is what I will do next time. Let me know what you think of Mars Horizon. I, I think it's interesting. Uh, I you know I, I'm I'm learning some things as I read these. There's a great spaceopedia in this game that 
uh, to see the history basically of NASA and uh, and the milestones that they achieved and when they achieved them and that's kind of, that's kind of fun to read as well as experiencing it. But I, I got to confess that every time I launch a rocket, I mean I'm transported back to the '60s when we were in seriously the race for the moon, um, and each you know each milestone uh, was covered live on TV and. Uh, and you know, classes stopped, and the TVs were turned on in every classroom. And we watched the launch, and we cheered when it was successful. And uh, you know, America held its breath in 1969 when the first uh, first man stepped foot on the moon, first person stepped foot on the moon. So I, I get a little of that feeling every time I'm five, four, three, two, one uh, launches, and now it's my rockets. <laughs> I'm the director. So that's kind of fun. So I like to keep playing this, and I, I hope you enjoy it as well. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Join me again for more Mars Horizon. We'll see what's on the horizon uh, for our space quest. Welcome new subscribers. Be kind, and let's get together again.